I'm a beautiful family and welcome to this video. Well, <laughs> I already filmed this video once and I was trying to upload the pictures and edit it so I can have it up for you guys, but I couldn't find half of the video. The big, half, first 50 minutes of the video is gone. So I'm filming this again. I hope it's okay for you. So I do look like a mess right now, my hair and my makeup, but it's been a long day didn't realize that the images were gone and since now so sorry guys for that but today we are going to talk about the products that i use whole 2020 that i love that were new for me during that year but that i fell in love that i'm definitely going to use this year now i already have my old videos for my year or two years uh, ago where I talked about th my yearly favorites then they are still my favorites I still love them those products but I want to talk about some products that I haven't talked about before on my channel or I did talk about it but I didn't have them in my last favorite product uh, yearly favorites so those favorites from last year or year before that are still of course amazing but today i'm going to talk about some new products that i tried and that i love that i'm definitely going to continue or not new okay wrong let's start over product that i used whole year i started loving last year start using last year 2020 and still love them and continue going to use them this year so please keep on watching Okay, if you're interested to see this makeup look, that video is coming on my channel, so don't forget to subscribe. I'm trying new uh, products. I'm also trying out a new uh, primer, face primer. That video will also be up, so don't forget to subscribe for that. But let's start with primers. The primer that I tried last year that I fell in love is the Milk Cosmetics. Now, my sister bought this. I think I started using it a year before that, but... I got this from my sister for my birthday, not 2020, 2019, I think it was, and I just fell in love. Now I used it up, I'm going to talk about this more in my empty videos that's coming soon, but this is one of the best primers. It, hy it hydrates my skin, it keeps my makeup in place, it's tacky, tacky, which I really like, and I think it's one of the best. It's good for the dry skin, it's good for the oily skin, combo skin, for every skin. It's just an amazing product and I'm definitely going to repurchase this one. If you haven't tried it, I really recommend it. There is also a smaller size if you're not really sure if you're going to like it, so you can buy that and try. But this is definitely my holy grail. Now, I do still love my Hourglass Veil Primer. That one also is good, but this is more like a gripping, more, high, um, more hydrating primer than that one. So definitely recommend. Foundation, I've tried many foundation last year, but some, a foundation that I repurchased a couple of times that I have backup of is something that is drugstore. This is Catrice uh, HD Liquid Coverage Foundation, lasts up to 24 hours. It says that it's mattifying, water and sweat reproof, and second skin effect. Now, I can't say it's waterproof or uh, sweat proof, it does transfer, transfer, but I just think it's one of the best full coverage, cons uh, full coverage foundations that keep my makeup in place, that keep my face look smooth, beautiful, my pores less visible, my all is in control. It's just one of the best foundation, and I do have it in two shades, 030 and 020. 030 is one shade that I've used the whole year. Now, I did bought, of course, backup of that shade, but also... Um, 020 because I thought I will use it during the winter but actually I tried another foundation that I'll be using too it's good but it's not my favorite this one is definitely something I'm going to continue using it uh, on my face I do have um, Rebecca Stella's foundation that I just reviewed on my channel I love that I've been wearing it since I got it it's one of the best but this one is also very very good and it's definitely my yearly favorite it deserves this place and it's definitely going to be used this is my YouTube book. Uh, you can see it's back side and front side. It says, it says Ida's YouTube uh, plan, planner. It's where I put my ideas for my videos, where I write all the products I'm going to talk about. Um, it's just amazing. I made this by myself. I'm going to put the link where I did this book. But uh, if you live in Sweden, but I think there are similar websites where you can create your own like books to write um, or diaries or 
calendars. I um, think it's a good investment. I think it's beautiful, it's so personal and I love it. So I'm using this whole last year. I'm definitely going to continue using it. And now I haven't wrote so many things in it because um, I wasn't filming a lot last year and it has to do with very weird stuff happening in my life, but I just love it. And I'm having my, li uh, my list of the products I'm going to talk about, so I'm going to have it, it up here. Okay, so bronzer. There are two bronzers that I fell in love last year that I really, really like. I'm definitely going to continue using them. One of them is uh, more higher end. It's also a creamy bronzer. This is the Chanel. Chanel uh, Healthy Glow Bronzing Cream. Now this smells very nice and it's a bronzer that goes on on top of a powder, on top of any foundation, hydrating foundation, mattifying foundation, all kinds of powders. This smells like heaven. It's one of the best bronzers, cream bronzers ever. Now I understand why people love it, why it's so hot and I think it's definitely worth the money and it lasts long long time i've used it whole year i'm definitely going to use it whole this year too i know if i'm going to empty it because there you get a lot of product here for your money but it's a very good product a second bronzer powder bronze that i tried last year it came out last year it's the kaya bronzer in gold coast and i tried this one in one of the videos i have it on my channel i'll see if i remember to put the cards up here or the link in my description box so you can watch the videos where I review these products. But I had other shades that I gave to my sister and it's just so smooth and creamy and it's blendable, buildable. I mean, this is a very, very, very nice bronzer. I really like it and I do definitely recommend it. I love Kaya Cosmetics products. There are many brushes that I tried last year, but there are three blushes I really want to talk about. The first one is a palette that I just fell in love. At first I thought I would never buy, but then I watched a video, I forgot her name, I think it's 19th Child or something like that. I watched her, watched her auntie haul and she talked about this product, then she bought it and she loved it and she talked about it then too and I was just okay. I felt the same as you do did. I'm going to purchase it to see if I like it too and I just fell in love. It's this in, in Natasha Denona Bloom Blush Palette. I've used it a lot. You can see my products are dirty because I've used it and these two are my favorite shades. Now I don't use a lot this highlight a lot because it's more of that glitter chunk that I don't like, but of course I used it, but not as much as other uh, highlighters. Uh, these two creamy are very loved and very used. This uh, this one too, sorry, this one is so beautiful. It has that sheen, but going on top of those others are just perfect. I always go on top this part on my face. These two I'm just in love with. It's perfect palette and I'm definitely going to continue using it. I love it, love it, love it. Every time this shade goes on with every season, but when I want this, or use this kind of red, pinkish, pinkish, purpley shades on my eyes, I'll always grab for this one. A powder blush that I loved, it's this Dior Backstage. Oh my God, Rosy Glow. This is in shade Coral. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. First I was scared of this shade, but guys, it's, I can't explain, it's just such a beautiful shade. Now if you can see it in, my lights are very weird, it kind of wash, washes out everything, but it's a beautiful, there you go, it's a beautiful shade, it goes very nice with those peachy eyeshadows look or natural eyeshadows look. Just love this one. I need to get the pink one too because I'm in love in this and I definitely recommend it. Now, another one that's drugstore that I used so many times that I definitely going to repurchase if I finish it, because I think I will, is the Makeup Mecca's one. This is in Charming. This shade, it looks, it looks a little bit, not boring, but it, well, it doesn't give me any excitement when I saw it. But guys, <laughs> it's one of the best, best, um, powder blushes. Now it's very powdery and it feels like, it feels very soft, it feels buttery when you touch it, uh, but when you put it on your face, 
it blends like a dream it goes with every makeup look i just love this blush need to check out more shades i love the texture i love how easy it is to build up i love how it is easy to blend i love how it easy is to use on every foundation for every makeup look i just love i don't know what's in here but it's magic i just love this blush and i need to talk about it and um, I just love it. It's so affordable. Definitely uh, something everybody needs to have in their um, in their beauty space or with their beauty products. It's just such a lovely, lovely blush. Lip pens. Now I started using lip pens last year. I'm grabbing. I'm sorry. Started using lip pens last year, or I used them a couple of years, but I wasn't really big fan. But last year I fell in love. In lip liners from Rebecca Stella. I've had every shade. She has eight shades and I have all of them. I can't find my shade number seven. I probably have it somewhere in my purse but this is these are one of the best lip liners on earth. They are so buttery. They are so beautiful. They last long. They, are, they last long. They are buttery but they make your lips look so beautiful. And I'm very impressed with Rebecca Castella's uh, beauty products so far. Love, love, love these. They are definitely going to be one of the most used lip liners. I have plenty of lip liners, guys. I have plenty of lip liners. I have like two, three of these full with lip liners. But I still always reach for these because they are such a beautiful lip liners. Now, she doesn't have those dark red, red lipstick shades. I think she will definitely come out. I think she will come out with those. But, oh my God natural nude lip pants need to try these and a lip gloss lip gloss that i obsessed with and need to repurchase over and over again is actually rebecca stella's and it's called no gut now she only have this have these shades it what i it's what i have on my lips now i do have it on top of one of the lip liners this is it smells like that minty if you can let's see if we can put it on the other hand it smells mint it gives that nice mint feeling it feels like it plumps it doesn't hurt it makes my lips look juicy it's soft it's not tacky it doesn't feel heavy it just feels so beautiful i love my lips when i use this together with the lip liners or without lip liners just love how it looks on my skin tone i love it and i'm definitely i definitely recommend it and i'll definitely use it myself i just love 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 this product i tried many mascaras i love mascaras and I'm trying new mascaras all the time but a mascara that really is one of the best mascaras i tried last year it's huda beauty mascara light lashes it's it gives me that those big thick long lashes that last all day it's such a beautiful 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 mascara uh, it is a more expensive mascara but it's definitely worth the price uh, you get actually two mascaras volume and curl le le length uh, le length I can't pronounce that word it's kind of hard for me but you get kind of two mascaras and I use those these two together all the time and I really really love this mascara I think it's wonderful and it doesn't it lasts long now I have very oily eyelids and oily t-zones uh, if you can see I wore this makeup for a couple of hours and it's it's getting a bit, giving me that glowy look right now this mascara lasts me all, not, eight nine ten hours before it starts a little flaking a little bit it's it doesn't give me those big clumps dark spots everywhere just a couple of small black dots and it gives me that when i build it a little bit too much when i go in like three four five layers of mascara sometimes i do like that and uh, then it will start a little bit to kind of flake but it's not a big deal and i still love it so definitely recommend it now if you're like me and don't usually use eyeliners, I'm not really good in eyeliners, I have very hooded eyes, I haven't really found a way to create eyeliner, big, big wings that will look beautiful on me but still show my makeup look. Now if you haven't tried the Melt Cosmetics eyeliners, you need to. If you're a beginner and you want to start experiment, 
these are your best friend now i love this shade i love both of these shades this is my oh my god i love this shade but i use this one the most and it's just such a perfect texture it's so easy to build up it's so easy to use it's very smooth but not too to wet watery so it kind of makes a mess it's just a perfect texture and i feel like these two are such a beautiful shades that i can use all the time and uh, i do like would like to experiment more with more shades i'm not really a big fan of black black eyeliner but these two are so beautiful amazing i love melt, melt cosmetics eyeliners i think they're beautiful and definitely something that are going to be used this year too I got this product from my friend Valerie in our last, was it the last box swap? Yeah, I think it was our, or was it the box swap before? I don't remember, but she sent this to me because it was on my wish list. This is the Becca um, under eye primer that I'm obsessed with. It does something to my under eyes. Now I do have, I don't know if you can see, big smile lines and wrinkles around my eyes. Now it doesn't make everything disappear. It's not that kind of magic, but it does something special to my under eyes. It kind of melts everything, melts into the skin, makes everything look smooth, beautiful, less visible lines, uh, make me look fresh, awake. I don't know what it is up in this product, but it's magic. It is a kind of magic and I just love this product. It doesn't smell anything and it's it, it's kind of like, like a balm. It kind of, when I got it, I tried it and I was like, oh, this is going to look, get me, look me more, let me look more oily under the eyes because it's like a balm. But guys, when this goes on my under eyes, I don't know if you can see, I just put a little bit of it there. It smooths everything. It makes my concealer look more, more beautiful, less cakey. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like I always need to have this under my concealer. Now I haven't used it today because I was trying other products and I just forgot about, forgot about it. But guys, I, it's just one of the best products out there. I don't know what it is about this one, but it just. I can't go doing my makeup without it and today I did because I was excited on filming a video where I tried many products and I was really excited so that's why I forgot but this is just a, such a beautiful beautiful product. Another product that I tried last year that I love is Airbrush Flawless Finish Compact Powder from Charlotte Timberley. I just love Charlotte Timberley. I tried one of her lipsticks too that I really like. Uh, this powder. Guys, this makes everything look much better. This makes every makeup look look more flawless, more skin-like. It just is an amazing powder and it's it's there um, higher in price, but it's definitely worth it. I really, really like this product and I think it does something for the makeup. I do use other powders to bake and set my makeup, but I like going with a big fluffy brush into this powder and just brush everything again to make everything smooth and beautiful. It's like that, that hourglass ambient powder that you put all over your face and makes everything smooth and shiny, but this doesn't have that kind of shine. It's just more mattifying and it, oh, it's beautiful, love it. I haven't tried so many eyebrow products last year. I did try a couple of them, but I used most of the product that I had before, but there is one that needs to be in this video and it's Kaya's Cosmetics new Precision Brow Pencil. Now it looks like every eyebrow pencil out there, but it's so beautiful. It has nice texture. It's what I have on my eyebrows today. It lasts all day. It just beautiful. It's easy to blend. Very nice, very pigmented, very smooth and I really like this eyebrow pencil. It's nothing really special, special about it. Just a nice product. It's worth mentioning in this video. It's one of my most used. Now I did use a couple of that I talked about in my other videos but this one is a new uh, product that I tried that I just love and last year and needs to be in, in this video. Okay guys, so now I will go and edit the rest of the video that I already filmed like a couple of hours ago. So let's go there. Okay, so I thought that I would go like from the, you know, base and then 
as you build up the makeup. I will talk about them, but I just jumping around, but I hope it's okay. Concealers. Two concealers that I tried last year that I really love is one uh, from e.l.f. This is Hydrating Camo Concealer Satin Finish and I have it in shade Fair Warm and I got this from my friend Valerie. Now uh, I was going downstairs to drink some bottle and I <laughs> ran upstairs and I <sighs> okay need to catch my breath. I love this concealer. I've been using it a lot. The only thing uh, is that it's a little bit too light for me right now so I need to purchase another shade. It's a really really nice concealer but it's a little bit too light so it really makes me look white under my eyes but it's really really nice concealer. Definitely worth the hype. The other concealer that I tried out last year is the from Rebecca Stella Cover Concealer. This is in shade 1. It's so light formula and it's lighter than this one if you can see but it's such a beautiful I need to check check out the other uh, darker shade a little bit but these two are the that are uh, the ones that I've used can't speak these two are the ones that I've used whole last year I'm definitely going to, going to continue using uh, it's just it just works for my skin it just works for my face and I think they are very nice Another thing that I got from my friend Valerie that was on my wish list last year it's the Bite, uh, Bite Cosmetics Nighttime Lip Therapy. I gave, I gave, I can't pronounce that, but I've used this every night since, was it in March? I filmed that, uh, we filmed that video. I've used it every night. You gave it a nice spatula that I use to pick up the product. Uh, let's see if I can open it. And I've used this every single night. It smells fresh. It it just smooths my lips. It just is one of the best lip masks out there. And I tried a couple of them. This is definitely one of the best. It's worth the hype. I think also is the worth worth price. Now, Bite Cosmetics are not available in Sweden. Sorry, guys, but I just needed to mention it because mention it because it's the only thing I've used whole year. And I also got this uh, day. Um, uh, bite lip gloss that I also use during the day. <laughs> they are just creamy and wonderful and uh, unfortunately Bite is not available here. I really hope it starts getting available. It needs to be sold here too. It's not fair <laughs> that we can't get it but when I finish those two I will definitely ask my friend to buy them again for me because they are very nice. Right now I do have a lot of product left so I don't need it right now. I just want to use it up. But it's definitely something that is going to be used and loved next this year too. Two highlighters that I've used last year. I used a lot of highlighters, but two that I always wish for. Something that makes me happy using, of course, is the Anastasia and Amorezi palette uh, blush. Not blush. The highlighter that it's. I don't know. I don't think you can purchase this anymore. But it's just perfect shade for every every makeup look. Now I'm going to, of course, buy the new Ice, I think it's called. See that one because that one looks also beautiful. But this is definitely one of the best formulas, one of the best highlighters. The other highlighter that I'm obsessed with is the Kaya Cosmetics. And this is in shade Sydney. And it's just nice pinkish color. And when I want that pink highlighter is or more pink champagne highlighter, I go for this. If I want more gold highlighter, I go for the... Anastasia and Ambrose's highlighter, but just love it. It's so smooth. It's beautiful and definitely one of the best highlighters out there. I do like it. You can make it more, you know, smooth, but I can build it up. I don't have it right now. No, and I do have the uh, Natasha Denona's that I tried for the first time in this, in you know, the video where I filmed this makeup look, but these two are the ones that I'm continue going, going to continue use and also that I've used the whole year. Okay, other skin product that I forgot to talk about. Now, Wishful, it's one of the brands that I really like. This is Yoglo Scrub Enzyme Scrub, I think it's called. My God, I don't know how somebody can live without this. This is a magic for my skin. I know when, when my face looks cakey, oily, too oily, too cakey, makeup doesn't want to stay. I know I didn't use this for days. This is something I use 
three times a week, I think, maybe four times a week. I just love this scrub. This is something that I am going to continue using, something I love, something when I need to repurchase over and over again. I'm obsessed, love this product. Now I do have a um, similar product from another brand, uh, I'm a pure, I think that is also really nice. I'm going to use up that too before I repurchase because I don't need to have plenty of this. But I just think it's one of the best products I tried for skin last year and definitely going to continue using whole year um, 2021. So I love it, love it, love it. It's worth the price. I don't like the packaging. I don't know why. I just don't like the packaging that are skincare, but you need to you know, have this cap on. I just like something that you, you know, open like it, this, not have to do like this for opening it as, or I, I know how it's, what it's called, but you know what I get. I'm not a big fan of this part of the packaging, but I just love this product, love it. Other product that I got from my friend Valerie that I was obsessed with and unfortunately sad that I'm, that I used up is it's Kate Samuel Cold Cream uh, cold cream moisturizing, clen cleanser, and makeup remover. I've used up every single drop of this product. I just emptied the jar. I used it whole year and it lasted me a long time. Oh my God, it smells so good. It removes everything. It smooths my face, makes my skin look moisturized, plump, beautiful. Uh, I feel happy using it. I just looked for to remove my makeup because I knew I would use this one. And this one with makeup towel just is magic. Now this is impossible to buy here in Sweden. I don't know if it's still, uh, if you can still find it somewhere else, but I just need to mention it because it was something I used whole year. Now I do, I just used last night for the first time the Huda Beauty's Aura Wishful, Wishful Balm makeup remover. So I'm not going to buy another one. And I didn't have this on my wish list when I sent the wish list to my friend Valerie because I'm using the other one I want to use it up. But this is something that it's oh, just a beautiful product. The only thing I didn't like about it is if I got it a lot in my eyes, it starts to uh, uh, being a little bit uncomfortable in my eyes. I just washed it out and it felt good again, but I just need to mention it because it is something that happened, but I just, it's safe for to use on the eyes, but it just some, was something in there that irritated my eyes a little bit, but it's not a big deal. And I <laughs> definitely think it's really, if it's not available, I don't know why, because it has to be one of the best products out there for removing your makeup, but it's a very good product. Okay, I think that was everything for the makeup. I do have two more products. Uh, no, palettes, sorry guys, palettes. Now I've used many palettes last year and I'm not going to go through them because I am going to film my palette review for the whole, from the, for the whole year. But three palettes that I've used through the year that I've used over and over again that I really like and I'm definitely going to continue using that I trust and know um, and can make every makeup look beautiful. It's three. Now let's start with the uh, one that it's uh, more expensive, the mo most expensive one. It's the Natasha Denona Safari palette. It's very used a lot. Can you see how dirty it is? Mixed reviews, I know, but I always wanted it and it was on sale. I think it's 20 or 30%. I purchased it and I love every shade worked on me. I've used every shade and I'm obsessed. I love this palette and I've used it a lot last year. I use it to oh, maybe only one shade all over my lid and just look beautiful and uh, whole day. I just feel uh, amazing using this palette and I'm definitely going to continue using it. I'm not going to talk about it more because I'm going to do a more deep you know, another video talking about this product, but I just feel it's, I, if you can uh, purchase it like this color, I have a, and uh, is curious to try it, I recommend it because it is a very good palette. Now, other palette that I loved year when it, since it launched is the Pure and Raw Christy Beauty collection. It's so used. I mean, guys, uh, it's very used very used, especially this side of the palette. It's so loved and oh my God, it's deep in some shades. I don't know if you can see it, I don't think so, but guys, this palette, 
it's heaven. I haven't tried pure cosmetics uh, eyeshadows before. I haven't heard top people talking about that. But when this palette launched, I purchased it because I love Raw Christie Beauty. And I, of course, I wanted to support her. And this is a beautiful palette. Now, I did purchase the ColourPop collection too. But that one came at the end of last year. So I am still using it. But one that I used the most is this one is just oh, such a beautiful other palette that i can trust and i love is one that i got from my friend valerie it's so jaded kathleen kathleen light and colourpop collection i've used this so many times guys the only shade i didn't use is this the glitters i'm not really a big fan of glitters but this is one of the best palettes out there that launched last year you have everything. You have natural, you have colorful, you have cold, you have warmer shadows, you have everything you need in these. You have uh, pops of colors, more natural shades, you have the glitters if you want to use them, they're beautiful. I haven't tried them, I'm going to try them, but I haven't tried them yet. I just feel it's a beautiful palette that it's definitely uh, affordable, definitely something you need to check out if you haven't. I think it's still available. And I've used it over and over again, and I'm going to use it over and over again. I just feel it's beautiful. These shades here are um, kind of similar to the, to the Safari palette. I kind of like those kind of shades, and I, oh my god, it's a, a wonderful palette. I just love it. So, okay, Whew. last two products. I have curly hair, and uh, I, of course, I invested in a, what it's called, a pillowcase. The beauty secret of celebrity hairstyles, dermatologists, and beauty experts. I bought this silky cover uh, pillow case, and it's silk, silksy, silk, silksy. I think I know how to pronounce it. It came in this packaging, beautiful, beautiful packaging, uh, with the, this paper around it. It's <laughs> it's a little bit higher in price, but it's worth the worth the purchase. It's 100%, can you see here, 100% mulberry silk. And I don't want to show all the, this, it's the, how it looks. It's so soft, it's beautiful, it feels uh, cooling, but I just love sleeping on it. Um, the downside is if I use a night mask, my face gets sticky a little bit. So it does stick to the pillowcase, but I mean, it's so good for the hair, it's so good for the face. I just love it. I need to check out more of these and purchase more because I do wash it often. Uh, but I just want to have more colors and, uh, you know, I don't know. I just think it's a nice um, investment and I don't, don't regret it. The one thing, other thing I don't regret is purchasing this towel. This is hair towel. This is from the brand Deva Curls. Deva Curls. I use this all the time. I washed it so many times. It is one of the best towels out there. I need to purchase more. It's so good for your re uh, washing my face. It's so good for the hair. I'm obsessed. One of the best purchase ever. This is 100% uh, microfiber. Uh, it's one of the best towels. Now I do have those kind of, uh, let me show you, other hair towel stuff, hair products. This is from Sheila. It's a little bit short wish it was a little bit longer so it's I had three kind three different these kind of towels and I do like them but uh, but nothing is as good as this one so I know there are so many discussions about Deva curls products for curly hair I didn't try them out because I'm scared of trying them out but towel definitely purchasing again definitely more of those so good for my skin when I wash my face, just feel so soft, especially after using, uh, going in and removing my makeup and then going in with this one and then uh, taking this towel and just, oh, and going to bed and sleep on this pillow. My God, guys, I feel like a princess. But yeah, that was everything. I will end this video right here. I'm not going to talk about the eyeshadow primers because I've used so many eyeshadow primers last year because I'm reviewing many eyeshadow primers so i'm not going to do that here i don't have actually a favorite yet there are a couple of favorites but i want to wait for that video but this is everything i talked about 
Please let me know down below if you tried any of these products or you curious to try, did anything work or didn't work for you? Please let me know down below. Let me know what's your favorite product of 2020. I'm very curious to know. Thank you so much for watching guys and I hope I see you in my next video. I love you all. Bye.